everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into probably the most absurd WWE action figure toy hunt that I have ever been on. You guys will see in the clips. We got a really long clip from one store. It is only one store, but it is the most insane thing I think I've ever seen. I don't know what the whole excuse is. I don't know what the whole deal is. And I honestly should be paid a check from Walmart after this video. But you guys will see what I'm talking about. It's absurd. It's absolutely absurd what we saw. And I would love to know if you guys have ever experienced anything like what you've seen in this this video or what you're going to see in this video but uh, we went on a toy hunt and I didn't expect to find anything I was actually going out to probably purchase a new television a new TV I wanted to get a big you know 80 90 inch TV for the national championship for Alabama and Georgia and so I was trying to buy a big TV and so I was right beside Walmart I went to Sam's for the TV and I was right beside Walmart so you know what I'm just gonna pop in there you never know like it, you know it, it, I feel like when you're least expecting something you're just doing stuff by the seat of your, you know flying by the seat of your pants that's when you strike gold. So I was like, you know what, Brad? Let's just go ahead and hit this Walmart. And this is the things that unfolded, man. So what I'm going to do is roll the clip. You guys can see everything that took place. And then you guys can meet me back here where we will kind of review everything that took place and all of those things, man. You need to put some eye drops in or something, man. It's like 2 a.m. I, I don't know. Roll the clip. All right, guys. Here we are at Walmart. First location here. Got some AEW going on. Not much. You got Sheeta. Got Hager in the house. No Chase variant. We got Bray Wyatt. Undertaker in the house. Tons of them. I don't think I've ever seen that many Undertaker. Five Undertakers, a bunch of Bray Wyatt, some Aleister Black, Hair and Cross. So it looks like just some Elite 85 going on. Got a little Becky Lynch action, some more Becky Lynch action. This this whole aisle is an absolute mess, though. It's an absolute mess. There's figures absolutely everywhere, man. You'll, it's unbelievable, really. Another Aleister Black chilling over here. We got Ric Flair, Ultimate Edition. I mean, dude, there's figures that, like, what is this? What is going on? There's figures buried underneath everywhere. You got a Top Picks Rock over there. What are we even doing here? You got more Elise under here. Live more. Another Undertaker. More carry More Undertaker. Becky Lynch carrying cross. More carrying cross. You got another Becky Lynch buried under here. More Becky Lynch. More Liv Morgan. Another Bray Wyatt. I mean, dude, this is, in, this is insane. I've never seen anything quite like this. Just figures and figures and figures. More Elites. Just buried and buried. And there's a lot of stuff over here that I've never even... Like, there's just so much stuff there. It looks like they have just randomly packed stuff over here. You got Bray Wyatt again. You got some more Bray Wyatt. Carrying Cross yet again. We have some more stuff stuffed over here. What do we got? Digging around here. Another Liv Morgan. So we have another Liv Morgan. More Bailey. More SummerSlam Basics. More Aleister Black. I'm sure there's probably two or three chases, right? There's probably two or three chases. Wouldn't be a toy hunt without a drop, right? But I'm sure there's two or three chase Aleister Blacks. We got another Undertaker. Undertaker may be the one that's the shuffle woman the most over here as I continue to drop stuff. My God. This is truly unbelievable. I've, I've never seen something quite this. I don't know what's going on. It literally looks like a... I don't know, like a, a clearance store or something. Another Bray Wyatt stacked up over here. We got Undertaker again. And you think, it looks like I'm just repeating the same figures and grabbing them and putting them in different areas. But there's there's literal figures just scattered throughout. I'm finding, everywhere I look, I'm finding another Elite and another Elite and another Elite and another Elite. So, I don't know what's going on, man. Let's check the other side here. Another, bro, Becky Lynch chilling over here. Money in the Bank contract. Tons of Becky Lynch over here. I guess I'm just going to stack all these up and then come back and try to reorganize the aisle or something because I, I really don't know what I'm doing around here. I'm just looking for more figures. I know that... Oh, my God. Another Undertaker. Another Undertaker stowed away over here. Makes 25 Undertakers now. We'll see what the final count is at the end, I guess. Are you serious? Another Liv Morgan. Yet again, another Liv Morgan just chilling over here. We have Bailey SummerSlam Basic. I mean, just look at this aisle, man. There's no structure to the aisle. There's just stuff stuffed everywhere. They have Marvel Legends stuffed everywhere. They got another Liv Morgan stuffed underneath some things. There's no structure to this aisle whatsoever. I've never seen a Walmart aisle look like this. And you'd probably expect some stuff out of Walmart like this, but I've never seen it quite at this level where there's just stuff strode everywhere. I don't know if it's a Christmas recovery as we find another Bray Wyatt chilling. But there are figures just throw just just everywhere, man. Another Undertaker just chilling randomly. You have board games. You got masks. You have things thrown out. Like some things are kind of in a little knit there, and then you have stuff just kind of thrown out everywhere. What else is there? Oh my God, man! Another Undertaker and another Liv Morgan figure. This is insane. You got a cane down there. You got what else do we have over here? I mean, this is just truly unbelievable. I've never, I've just never seen something like this. 
as we find another Undertaker. Undertaker may be the biggest show former of the set. I don't know how you even overstock on that figure. I know a lot of people were looking for it. And just imagine when the new top picks comes out. You know, they're going to they're gonna give us even more here. As we find yet again another Becky Lynch. More Aleister Black. More Bray Wyatt. Just chilling in the back over here. We have more Bailey Basics. We have some more stuff. I know I know. There's it's not done. There's got to be some more strode out. I'm sure I'll find some more here as we look throughout the aisles. And you guys can just see, like, on the pegs, it's not as bad. But on these shelves underneath, I mean, it is just ish on top of ish on top of ish. No overstack on the top. Usually they put the overstock on the top, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like somebody has just ravaged it. And so I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to set everything up. We'll do our numbers and everything. I don't think I can redo the whole aisle, but I'll at least get the wrestling section in some order. So I'll see you in just a moment. All right, guys, so look at what we've got here. Look at all these figures stacked up. I just took every figure. I've, I've cr kind of made, like, their own sections here. you got the Bray Wyatt's, the Liv Morgan's, Alistair Black's here. Just check out the overstock that we have going on here. Tons of Bray Wyatt, tons of Becky Lynch, Undertakers just stacked and stacked on top of each other. I think I found them all. I could be wrong, but that is just a money shot on all of the Elite 85 figures that we have right here. Absolutely incredible. I've seen overstock in my lifetime, but I don't think I've ever seen an Elite set get overstocked this much, you know, in this quantity. Especially a solid wave like Elite 85. It's unbelievable, really. We have the Ric Flair Ultimate Edition just chilling, but I have never seen something like this. Before I put them all on the pegs, I wanted to get this money shot of all of them stacked up. Just insanity, but I'll show you guys what they look like when we put them on the pegs. All right, guys, then after Walmart, I guess, brand new Walmart employee... MDT coming in here and, and refixing the shelves. We have all the figures kind of in their spots here. I did my best, but you guys can see the Undertakers. You got the Carrying Crosses. You got all the Bray Wyatts, all the Liv Morgans, all the Aleister Blacks. Becky Lynch is represented as well. All the overstock here. I I mean, unbelievable. I, I didn't do a final head count. You guys can do that down in the comment section below. Only two AEW figures. Tons of SummerSlam basics. That Rey Mysterio, there's like 30 of them. There's, there's so many of them here. At least 12. They have to be at least 12, but you guys can just see the ridiculous amounts of, of just stuff. It just looks like there's so much stuff here, but I, I bet I even miss one. I bet there's some elite or some basic probably chilling. I probably miss one stacked up under all this bull crap that they have here. There's a SummerSlam Bailey for, for good measure, but... I'm, oh my god, a, a, another Aleister Black that we can just put right up here next to the rest of the Aleister Blacks. Again, there's probably two or three chases here. I don't know. If you live in the area, come grab your freaking Aleister Blacks. There's so many here. I could probably make all the money back, back with the Malachi's, but this is so unreal. I had to get a shot of it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this craziness. All right, man, so we are back after the toy hunt, and my God, bro, what in the blue hell did we just witness, man? I mean, the aisles were a straight wreck, right? The aisles were completely a mess. I don't know if they were recovering from Christmas. I don't know what the hell was going on, man, but, like, you guys saw. It was insane. There was, like, there was no structure to the aisle. It looked like it looked like a dirt cheap. If you've ever been to, like, a dirt cheap store or one of those stores where they get a lot of clearance stuff, like a TJ Maxx or a Ross or something like that, you wouldn't really find WWE figures there. At least I don't. But you know what I'm saying, where there's an overstock of toys and you have to, like, rummage through everything to try and find something. That's what I felt like today, man. I was finding figures and figures, and I found all sorts of stuff. And I was just, I was finding Becky Lynch, and I was finding Karrion Cross and Aleister Black. Did you see how many copies of figures there were? There were so many figures. There were so many figures. Just ridiculous amounts of Elite 85, and just the aisles were insanely destroyed. I don't know what was going on, but at least I fixed up the wrestling action figure section at least somewhat decent. I was picking up figures. I was putting them in the right spots. I did the best. Some of the tags weren't right, like the little things, you know, you hang the figures on, the pegs or whatever they were. They were not right. Some of them had, like, the wrong labels. Some of them were in the wrong spots. A lot of them I couldn't even put the figures on because they were too tall and they would run into other pegs. I did see the AEW Unrivaled Sting Walmart exclusive tag. That'll be interesting to find. I hope that thing shelf warms like the rest of all these other figures we're seeing, but my God, man, that was just insane. I've never seen anything quite like that before. I've seen overstock. I've seen overstock, but it wasn't just the amount of overstock it was also how it was like everywhere it's like they literally were like just walking down the aisle throwing shit at the aisle you know like unboxing the wwe figures from the main box like the the workers just pushing the damn cart down the middle of the aisle and they were just throwing shit 
at the at the pegs and throwing shit around. There was things hidden. There was things buried. I don't know what was going on. There was freaking food. I saw ramen just chilling by the figures. I saw board games. I saw random things just stacked and bunched. It was horrific. It was. I've never seen anything quite like that. That was unbelievable, honestly. So on our toy hunt, we did not buy anything. I probably should have bought a. I probably should have bought like all those Alistair Blacks. Probably. I probably should have picked up that Ultimate Ric Flair. I probably should have bought a couple Lives, a couple Undertakers, and that Bray Wyatt is the most underrated elite, probably almost ever, almost of all all time probably that elite 85 bray white is so good but i want to know down below if you guys have ever experienced anything like that it was total insanity uh i know those figures won't be going anywhere anytime soon and that's the that's the walmart that actually has the problems with the swap the figs that's the walmart that i always find the crazy swap the figs at i don't know we'll have to keep an eye on that i didn't see any swap the figs for the first time in months so i don't know what the deal is there but that toy aisle was an absolute disaster they haven't touched it since christmas you can obviously tell but i would think that at christmas time you would think that they would uh, all those elite 85 Five figures will be gone, right? People would want Taker and Black and Bray Wyatt and Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch. So, I don't know, man, but it was insanity. It was total chaos, but uh, I would love to know down below in the comment section what you guys thought about that. If you guys have ever experienced anything like that, let me know down in the comment section below, man, but I wanted to get on here and make a video about this because it was insane. So, uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't grab anything, unfortunately. Maybe on the next time around, but thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the damn toy aisle. I don't know why I said it that way. Try aisle. At my local Walmart. Shit was horrendous. Don't do that. Ever. You crossed the line. I've been